Are you ready to rock your life? Then welcome to the Spotlight with Emily Zuby Show. Emily is the founder and CEO of Miami Women Who Rock, a network of amazing inspirational women and business leaders. As producers of the Rockstar Awards, these local celebrities are acknowledged with the famous Jackie Grand Mosaics Artist Inspired Award and share their stories. From setbacks to comebacks and the secret sauce of success, these Rockstar Award recipients talk business, philanthropy, and a little bit of their motivational magic. Now, here is your host, Emily Zuby. Welcome to Spotlight with Emily Zuby. I'm your host, Emily Zuby, and today we have the beautiful and fabulous Marile Lopez. Marile is a CFO of George Luis Lopez Law, and also she's the president of the Marile and George Luis Lopez Family Foundation. She's not only part of our founder circle, but she was our 2018 Woman of the Year. So you're gonna get to know a little bit about Marile. So great to have you, Marile. Thank uh, you. I wanna know, who is your female or woman icon or hero? Well, it's, it's interesting because I think we would all say our mothers, right? Because how, how appropriate, how sincere that it would be our mothers because our mothers are the first woman we met, are the inspiration the minute we opened our eyes. And I am proud to say that that is the woman for me, my mother. My mother, Maria Elena, um, Cuban immigrant who came here to the United States like most Cubans um, with very little. And her and my dad struggled to raise me, give me an education, and all the while, fulfilling her own education. So she was able to continue that which she had started in Cuba, which was accounting. And she was, I mean, she was 25 years old when she arrived here. And she learned the language and they struggled. She went to work in a shoe factory, went to school at night, eventually took her accounting degree, but she hated accounting. So she um, always loved fashion and design and eventually, when she was able to, she established her own business, which is Marielena Headpieces. And, Beautiful. you know, the dedication that I saw, the commitment, the work ethics, inspired me to now show my daughters that. And subsequently, she has a beautiful company, which is a bridal headpiece accessory, which started in a room in her home, in our home, and is now a worldwide leading bridal headpiece company. So if that's not inspirational, I don't know what is, right? And the more so is that now I see my daughters, the reflection that that has brought to them, particularly our older daughter, Anya, who is, designing. <laughs> is now, well, she doesn't design per se, but she is looking to continue my mom's legacy by incorporating her own ideas into the business and soon enough run it and make her grandma proud. So That's definitely my mom. My mom <laughs> is my inspiration and I'm sure many of you women out there believe your moms and know your mom's the inspiration too. It always starts at home, yeah, right? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And you have a legacy of giving back. So we're gonna talk today about family and uh, philanthropy, fashion, because you are, <laughs> you are my fa oh. fashion icon. I mean, from, you know, the YSL boots to, you know, the fabulous earrings. So tell us a little bit about your fashion sense. I think it's, it's very personal. Um, I, I do believe that I pay attention to what I'm going to wear, whether it's I'm going to attend an event or George and I are being honored or I'm um, a guest somewhere. Why? Because if, if the event is, it merits attention, if the invitation, it merits attention, and it merits my time to look appropriate for that. Plus I love fashion, and my mom's <laughs> in fashion. So, right, you put it all together and I enjoy it. But I'm very meticulous with that. So I actually have a spreadsheet. No. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> where I make note of what event and what outfit I'm going to wear to this event uh -huh. 
and how many times I've worn it, and when do I recycle that? So it's a it's a cool system. It's a system. <laughs> I need that system. But it is a system, and <laughs> I enjoy it. You have to enjoy it. You have to enjoy the way you feel um, in that outfit. But the outfit can't make you. You have to make the outfit. It has to be your personality that always shines through, and 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 you have to carry it. Don't let something carry you. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So I'm going to talk about philanthropy because the very first time that we're in the beautiful <laughs> offices here in Coconut Grove that overlooks all of Coconut Grove. And the first time I was here, it was you were celebrating your 30 years yes. and you gave to 30 charities yes. and celebration. So yes. talk to us a little bit about, you know, some of those charities and which ones, you know, are near and dear to your heart. I know they all are, but there must be some that you've probably have had for a lifetime. Absolutely. So. Um, George and I have been in, George particularly has been practicing law, governmental affairs for 30 plus years. So when it was our 30 year anniversary, we were moving into this new space after being Coral Gables in our own building for over about 15 years. And we decided that what better way to inaugurate our offices by, by sharing, by expressing our gifts and our love for our community in these 30 charities. So we were able to donate uh, time, talent, and treasure to 30 different charities. And um, obviously there are five that stand out. There are five charities that always stand out and it's more on their mission than the actual charity. It's based on education, based on healthcare, uh, based on humanitarian efforts, and um, based on those missions, we do give m most of our time and talent and treasure to Chapman, uh, well, Nicholas Chapman. Children's Hospital, American Red Cross, Boys and Girls Club, and American Cancer Society. So those have been the five pillars that we give. Overlapping all of this is the Archdiocese of Miami, which uh, our faith is priority. So. Whenever we give, whenever we think of volunteering, that is a priority for us, our faith and faith-based giving. So why five? Well, because we have five children. And I hope, we hope, George and I, that one of our five children will continue this legacy. Or each of them will embark on one of these, right? That's so beautiful. that's the idea behind it and, and our hopes. That's beautiful. Now, you know, you sit here and you see all the success, but we all know that there's, the, the journey is long and that, you know, there are setbacks and comebacks, yes, trials, absolutely. you know, and triumphs. So think of a, a time that you would say that, you know, is that setback to comeback moment that you think is inspirational for our listeners to hear. Well, at whatever level of success that you might mark, um, when, when I got pregnant with my twins, who are now 15, George and I were thinking, okay, you know, we have three younger kids and I got pregnant with the twins, which was a big surprise. And all of a sudden, we decided that it was time to embark on our own. And it was time for us to set up our own practice. So we went from being, George went from being a law partner at one of the, you know, national, prestigious law firm into our own practice. That's not easy. It's not easy. It's, it's, it's a journey that you have to think about because our priorities are client. Our priorities, their success. And we can't have a break. We can't say, wait, I'm busy doing something or thinking about another venture. No, their priority, their projects, we have to give it our all. And they, they have been. And that's why we're successful because they're successful. So we decided to go on our own and it was like, okay, we're, we're doing this. And we were lucky enough that we have uh, three attorneys that came with us and staff and all of our clients said, yes, we follow you, we trust you, we will be there. And our clients are amazing. You know, our clients are, we're again, successful because they're successful and vice versa. So it was a hard moment to think we're going to start again because it's, you're starting a, a practice almost 
not from scratch because your clients are coming with you, but you're setting it up. You're now on your own. You might not have that support of that, right, national firm, and yet his George's work speaks for itself. And they were all there for us as they are, as we're for them. Yeah, and it, many it is, of them that you've had for many years. Uh, many so years, that, that's, many, many That's years. a testament to yes. the service yes. and, you know, your reputation and, you know, uh, that stellar uh, Thank you. community Thank service. You. And it all ties in, right? Yes. Because, oh, you know, a lot, of your, a lot of your clients care very much about Correct. the community. Correct. And, and that's part of what we do here. So when we talk to our client, we bring it as a holistic approach. We tell them you have a great project and you're doing great work, how about great work for our community? So we try to incorporate what they're doing with the community. A perfect example, because I'm, I'm looking at it, is the American Red Cross. Um, we were honored to share their ball, I think it was in 19, I mean, in 2014. And when we were the chairs of the ball, I thought, what a great idea to bring Florida Power, Florida Power and Light into the mix as their lead sponsor. Why? Well, we represented Florida Power and Light then, and it was such a great synergy, right, to have the American Red Cross, an organization that is first responders, to be right hand in hand with natural. first responders. When you think of a national disaster, what do you think? Florida Power and Light. So it was a marriage, and, that's, and that has been the success to many of the philanthropic efforts behind the galas that we've been able to chair, the organizations we've been able to support, is with the help of our clients, we've also matched their, um, well, their gifts, but we've also been able to match their needs and their wants in the community. Um, many, many years ago as well, we, um, you know, we were at the Chapman Partnership Gala and the lead sponsor was a construction company that provided low-income housing. How great, right? Why? Because there's a, a synergy. So you look for that where organizations, businesses that are in our community also give back to their community. And, and that's, a, that's a great success story because everyone, everyone is happy. That's wonderful. So we're sitting here with Marile Lopez, if you're just joining us, and um, I am just absolutely in awe of everything she does. You know, we're 4,000 strong at Miami Women Who Run, but it's uh, Founder Circle members like Marile who um, have guided us and, and mentored me personally and really helped me, like, okay, did you think about this? And, you know, that mentorship is so important. And on any given day, you are either at a lacrosse game and running from the office to running to a gala to... Um, you know, obviously with COVID, that, that yes. has slowed down somewhat, but you, your life is pretty nonstop. So we have something called the Rockstar Rapid Fire. Okay. And um, it's, it's quick, it's fun, <laughs> and we're going to ask you some quick questions okay. and your response to it. And our uh, listeners are going to get to know you a little bit better. So, Sounds good. Okay, ready? Sounds good. All right, favorite restaurant? Marilyn Lopez House. <laughs> <laughs> okay, favorite ice cream flavor? Emily, you're making these really hard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, nice Favorite color? Green. Favorite designer? Uh, Dolce Cabana. Favorite sport? Lacrosse. Favorite movie? My favorite movie is Beaches. Okay. Favorite song? When Beneath My Wings. <laughs> I love that song. Yes. It reminds me of my brother. Uh, one last thing. Yes. Okay. So when you are ready to relax. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's your uh, guilty pleasure? When I'm ready to relax, what is my guilty pleasure? I think it's the pleasure I do about six or seven times a day, coffee. Yeah, you see, you've surprised me. I thought I knew you, but you've surprised me. You surprised me <laughs> a, a great deal. You know? so, so as we wrap up in, in fashion, faith, philanthropy, yes. it, what part of your story do you feel that you want our viewers to know that you know, if they're struggling and need that inspiration, maybe it's a favorite quote, um, your go-to mantra, what would that be? You know, I think we have to realize that we're not perfect. We have to realize that, therefore, we can't seek perfection. 
And when we need help, we need to ask for it. And sometimes we are so tight on ourselves, hard on ourselves as women, because we, we want to excel, we want to prove that we can, and it's okay to ask for help. So in, in our case, in my case in particular, I asked for help in my church. I am Catholic, we're practicing Catholic, and I go and I speak to my priest. I have this problem, I have this issue, I need guidance, it's okay. It's okay to ask for help. And, and I think that's where I would encourage women who are getting to that next level of their career, a, a change in, in life, a decision that they have to make, a setback. It's okay, and it's okay to ask for help. And there's so many women rock stars there to help you. There, there and a group like, you know, Women Who Rock, uh, a group like I'm part of, and I'm proud of saying IWF, it's just great sisterhood, and it's okay to ask for help. That's wonderful. So last thing is we always talk about our secret sauce of success. And <laughs> I you know, have been claimed to know to say that perseverance is my superpower. What's yours? Forgiveness. Oh, beautiful. Forgiveness. Beautiful. Yes, it that really is. is. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much thank you. for being us. I told you she's a rock star. Thank you for joining thank us. You. Thank you for joining us. Another edition of uh, Spotlight with Emily Zuby. We want to thank our sponsors, uh, Darrell Lincoln, uh, Dr. Marty Zayak, and also uh, Joni Jimenez at One Sotheby's International Real Estate. Thank you for joining us. Remember to subscribe, to like, to review, and you'll see us at another episode of Spotlight with Emily Zuby. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Spotlight with Emily Zuby Show. Please join our rock star community by subscribing to our YouTube channel or wherever you listen to your podcasts. And while you're there, be sure to leave a rating and review. We really appreciate that effort. Signing off for now from the Miami Women Who Rock Studios. We'll catch you in the next episode.